Hello, everybody. Hope you're doing marvellously well. We're going to try another plugin from our good friends at Denise Audio. As you know, Denise Audio do pretty revolutionary products where they, I don't know, what's the best way of describing it? Think outside of the box. I talk a lot about as people are coming up in this industry, do they really need to be only using emulations of old equipment? Shouldn't people be designing things like compressors, for instance, and EQs and reverbs and delays that don't adhere to old stereotypes to push the boundaries a bit? Well, we've been very happy with everything that Denise Audio have done thus far. And we're hoping that this is going to take it to another level as well, because Denise Audio have brought out, I suppose, what they're calling a tonal compressor. And that is the Dragonfire. So let's check it out. So first things first, it is sizable. Jan, jan, ja. So that's cool. I've taken a two bar loop. So that's pretty much my whole screen now. So from left to right, we've got obviously a gain reduction. So this is the input signal here. This must be the gain reduction there. There's the output. Here we've got a randomizer, which I'm not going to click yet, but probably is going to give you some interesting ideas. There's a sidechain function, a drive, a curve. Oh, I see. Well, we'll see what that does. RMS, um, knee. You know what? We should start using it because it's far more fun. But what I want to see is this, this push-pull function, because this is a an EQ and a compressor. So it's really a compressor but with EQ built into it. And this push-pull function is a really interesting idea. Let's play the drum loop. Bypass for a second. It's not doing anything yet. Now I could use it to cut a little bit of low mids maybe, listen to the drum sound. But what you're typically always trying to do with drum parts is get them to cut through. So why don't we have some fun with this EQ function and see if we can do that. So I'm going to hit the solo mode up here. Take the Q. It's a really ugly frequency. Why do you think I'm catching it? I'm catching it because it's on the kick and the snare. Ugly, ugly, but it is, it's a frequency that is on both the kick and the snare drum. Okay, so I'm going to take it out of solo. If we listen to it at the moment, 50-50 on this pull function, it's probably going to sound horrific because it is all 928 hertz. Bypass, horrible. Now, if I pull it all the way to 100% to the pull, bring the threshold down. Awesome. So that 928 hertz, which is an ugly, disgusting frequency, with it set to the pull on 100%, you're not hearing the additional EQ. That's what's smart about this compressor. You're not hearing it, but it's being used to trigger the compression. Meaning, now I can play with the attack and release times and get a really snappy drum sound, which, quite frankly, it's already doing. Bypass for a second. All right, so let's add a little bit of additional gain. 
before and after. Really cool idea. Of course, if I go back, all that additional EQ that's triggering the compressor is now being added back in. That is quite horrific, but I don't want to do that. Now, I could high pass this. Oh, yeah. And let that low end breathe even more. Bypass. Yep. So now the low end below 100 hertz is breathing really nicely. And just for snitch and sniggles, just bring this down to about 4K. See if we can get the snap on the snare back. Yep. So now I'm hearing the bottom snare. Bypass. And in. All right, just for snitch and sniggle, just add some drive. If I bring the clip back. Insane. Bring the gain up to compensate. Before, nice and polite, and now, slow the attack time down. Fastest release time. Bypass. A nice polite drum sound. And. Try playing with the knee. Oh. And bypass. And. If you can't be creative with this tool, I don't know what, what you can be. Now, obviously, what I loved about that is I was able to find a frequency. And I could have found two frequencies, couldn't we? We could have gone, and it's because there's um, six frequencies here. We could have soloed out just something that was kick specific and something, you know, bass drum specific and something that was snare drum specific. We could have done that as well. Why don't we just for snits and sniggles. Okay. That's just catching 50 hertz of the kick drum. Let's take out a solo. So good. So now what's happening is the low end of the kick drum at 50 hertz, that horrible mid-rangey ringy tone at 928 hertz from the snare drum are not audible in the mix, but they are being used to trigger where the kick is playing and the snare is playing, meaning I can now enhance the, the punch of my drums. Let's get rid of all the... I 
I got loud. So now I'm bringing down the drive. Bypass. Kick. Drum mix is okay, but bring this in. Enhance that low end on that kick drum is now. Boom, 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 boom. Bypass. Bring that. Bypass. It's awesome. Really, really good idea with that push pull. And then, of course, um, you know, if you were using that EQ for something, you know, a little bit broader. Here I'm using it super, super aggressively. But we could try, you know, putting in a much more gentle EQ on it um, that helps trigger the compression, but also might be a little bit more pleasing. Maybe you want to brighten it up a little bit so we can then dial it. Like if I want to put, put some of this where it says pull, put it onto push, it will bring some of that incredibly <laughs> in aggressive EQ back in. So let's do it subtly. Bypass. So now we're getting the best of both worlds. We're getting that super aggressive, you know, angry 50 hertz and 920 hertz from those two different elements, the bass drum and the snare being fed back in, but also triggering the compression, giving us ultra punchy sound. So just for schnitz and schniggles, let's have a listen to what it can do on bass. Now there is actually some presets in here. So Let's do something different. Let's try out what their presets are. So I've got bass, kick my bottom. <laughs> Let's see what it sounds like. Next, bass control. I like that. Throw in the drums. Those drums are so wrong, I love them. Cool. I don't usually use presets that much, but with a plugin like this where there's so much to mess with, I want to see what they put in there and try it out. Let's try another couple of things. Bass cut through, so it's a high mid boost. Denise Opto. Oh, that's nice. It's 
It's my favourite one. That's great. That's really nice. So, found a good preset. Fun. So you can see there's a lot you can do with this. If you go to their website, they talk about infinite amounts of things you can do. Let's scroll down and have a quick look. And it seems the Dragonfire is on sale for 49 euros and one cent. And that's including VAT as well. That's cool. So it's about $60 for those of us in the United States. As you can see, they have a lot of great stuff. The Perfect Room is on sale. We reviewed that. We love that. The Perfect Plate. They've got a sub generator. There's a lot of really, really good plugins that they do. So very generously, they have given us three to give away. And you know what to do. Just click down the link below. You can enter to win. If you do some extra actions, you get more entries. But either way, just enter to win. And uh, if you've used this already, because it's been out for about three weeks now, please let us know what you've been using on it. We'd love to share some ideas. This is a great plugin. And once again, Denise have done something where they've broken down some barriers and got rid of some stereotypes and did something really quite unique. Thanks ever so much. And have a marvelous time recording and, of course, mixing. And we'll talk to you all again very soon. So long. Farewell. Au revoir. Tschüss. Farewell. Goodbye.